In this video, I'll show you how to use pivot tables to help you with some of your analyses of your data set. So here I have my Montreal file opened up. Now in your file, you might have cleaned it already and removed um, perhaps some neighborhoods or types of homes. This is the raw Montreal file, so I haven't changed anything in it. So here, what I would wanna do perhaps is make a pivot table using my data. You can do a pivot table with all of your data by clicking here and it selects everything and then clicking insert uh, checking a pivot table and then you'll hit OK and it goes to a new page like that or perhaps I'm just gonna go back here or perhaps I just want a couple of the columns to be used say I want to analyze from neighborhoods out to cleaning fees if I only want these data points in my pivot table, I would just select these columns, click on insert, click on pivot table, go ahead and hit OK and it will bring me to a new page. Now either way you could have used all the data or just a couple of the columns. But what you'll notice here on the right hand side in our pivot table fields is any of the columns uh, that you've selected for your pivot table. So for instance, I want to know uh, or I want to organize my data based on neighborhoods. So if I click on neighborhoods and I drag it and drop it into the rows box here, I'm now going to create a row for each neighborhood compiled. So we can see um, they've identified all of the unique neighborhoods. Now with Montreal, uh, it was in French, and so some of the letters are a bit funny. Now, uh, let's say I want to calculate the average price per neighborhood. I can click on the price option here and drag and drop it into my values, because this is the value I'm interested in. So dropping the price in there, note that my uh, Excel is defaulted to do the count of price, but that's not what I'm interested in. So if I double click on this, a small window appears and now I can change it to uh, something else. In this case, average would be more useful for me. It's going to calculate the average price for each of my neighborhoods. So if I click OK, it now changes to average price, but notice it's uh, not in dollar form. So I'm going to select my column B and here under my formatting, I'm going to change it to dollar sign. So now I have a nice, easy pivot table that shows me the average price by neighborhood. Now, let's say I wanna do some more analyses. I wanna know the average number of bedrooms or the average number of beds. I can do this for, uh, for anything with a numeric value. So if I um, drag and drop beds into the values, it now does the count of beds uh, and I'll double click on that and change it to average because I want to know the average number of beds available in each neighborhood and it even uh, undid my format for price so I can always um, format it after the fact so I don't have to keep redoing the format same thing I can do accommodate so I can do the accommodation I'll drop that into my values uh, I don't want the count I want the average so I'll hit OK. So if I go ahead and format these, I'll just select my numbers and use the decimal button here to move in and out. So maybe to the tenths place or the hundredths place. And then same thing with average price. I'll change that back to a dollar. And so now I've got great data that I can talk about uh, in terms of my neighborhoods. Again, in my story, I might not be interested in all the neighborhoods. Perhaps I'm only interested in Hampstead and Verdun. But now I have the average price, number of beds, and number of accommodations for uh, these two neighborhoods. If you have questions, just let me know.